In this captivating presentation, let's delve into the intriguing evolution of humanoid robots originating from Japan. We'll journey back to the innovative creations of the late 1920s, tracing their path to the cutting-edge advancements of today. Along this historical voyage, we pay tribute to Japan's rich contributions to the field of robotics. Our exploration begins with Gakuten Soku, hailed as the first robot created in the East during the late 1920s. Crafted by biologist Makoto Nishimura in Osaka, Gakuten Soku showcased remarkable features for its time. It possessed the ability to alter facial expressions and move its head and hands using an air pressure mechanism. Notably, it wielded a signal arrow in its right hand and a lamp named Rickant in its left. Gakuten Soku made its grand debut at the Kyoto Grand Exposition in honor of the Imperial Coronation in 1928. Despite subsequent exhibitions, the original robot was tragically lost during a tour of Germany. However, a replica created in 2008 now resides in the Osaka Science Museum. Fast forward to June 1968, when the Office for Promoting Domestic Production of Industrial Robot was established, marking a pivotal moment. By October of the same year, Japan entered a technical license agreement with animation, leading to the creation of the country's first domestically manufactured industrial robot. The Kawasaki Anime 2000, in 1969. Prior to this milestone, Japanese manufacturers had already automated their production lines with specialized machines tailored for specific tasks. Kawasaki in the mid-2000 garnered attention from industries grappling with labor shortages due to its versatility in adapting to various operations. Westwood Robotics unveils Themis, a 1.6m tall, 31 kg robot capable of reaching speeds up to 10 km per hour. Engineered for safe interaction and versatile movements like walking, running, and parkour, Themis embodies the company's commitment to integrating humanoid robots into various tasks. Equipped with a unique shared memory structure, Themis seamlessly integrates sensors for reliability and precision, while remaining compatible with the robot operating system for enhanced functionalities. With a battery life of up to two hours, Themis excels in customer service, goods delivery, and event management tasks. Meanwhile, Kawasaki Heavy Industries showcases Naya, an autonomous robot designed for door knocking and drink delivery. Naya, standing 1.5 m tall and weighing 75 kg, features extendable arms and specialized sensors to recognize door handles. Aimed at addressing Japan's labor shortage, Naya represents a promising solution for various service-oriented tasks. The Arisa Humanoid Robot Receptionist, showcased at the 2017 International Robot Exhibition, stands at 6 foot tall and features a touchscreen monitor. Arisa assists tourists by offering directions, information, posing for selfies, and even dancing. Fluent in English, Japanese, Chinese, and Korean, Arisa primarily operates in subway stations, guiding passengers to restrooms, lockers, and suggesting transportation routes and local attractions. Its AI system comprehends passenger queries regarding transfers and station details, responding verbally and visually via a display. Developed by Arui Gaming Technologies, initially envisioned as a casino dealer robot, Arisa also entertains users with responsive chatter and dances. However, its primary function remains providing transfer information, store details, special offers, and other station-related information through dialogue and touchscreen display. Pollen Robotics introduces REI in a new YouTube video ahead of its exhibition debut in Japan. REI, an interactive humanoid robot, is designed to assist with daily tasks, featuring a unique orbit neck system and built-in antennas. With advanced sensor systems and AI capabilities, REI can analyze its surroundings, interact with people, detect objects, remember faces, and adapt to different situations. Its 3D printed components are both durable and eco friendly, reflecting Pollen Robotics' commitment to sustainability. In 2006, robot inventor Joe Denti created a robotic clone of himself named Durante. This robot, housed in a silica gel body, is capable of facial movement and speech, resembling a real human. 
Joe Denti's robot has been showcased at the Second Museum Expo held at the China Agricultural Exhibition Center. The Geminoid series comprises humanoid robots developed by Japanese robotics professor Hiroshi Ishiguro, designed to closely emulate human appearance and behavior. Featuring lifelike facial expressions and gestures. These robots can be remotely controlled to mirror human movements in real time and can be customized to closely resemble specific individuals, albeit not exact replicas. Gemini robots serve as tools for researching human-robot interaction and cognition, investigating how people respond to robots closely resembling humans. Examples include Geminoid Hi-1, Geminoid DK, and Geminoid F. Today they are utilized in experiments and public demonstrations, stimulating discussions about the future implications of robotics and AI. Geminoid Hi-1, introduced in 2006, is an android replica of Hiroshi Ishiguro reproducing his voice and head movements to explore human-like attributes. Geminoid F, developed in April 2010, is a realistic female android capable of mimicking human facial expressions and speech. Modeled after a woman in her 20s, Geminoid DK launched in 2011. Closely resembles Danish professor Henrik Scarf, reflecting his ties to Denmark. In 2023, Hiroshi Ishiguro unveiled Erika, the first robot news anchor on national TV. Erika possesses conversational abilities, facial tracking, and reading skills with a voice akin to a 23-year-old. She adeptly processes sound in conversations. Driven by advanced AI, Erika learns from interactions and excels in language processing. Although lacking limbs, she utilizes infrared sensors to monitor movement. Erika's potential applications span various fields, including healthcare, education, customer service, and public spaces. In 2008, Tokyo University unveiled a groundbreaking invention to revolutionize household chores, the assistant robot or simply AR. Equipped with advanced technology allowing it to perceive three-dimensional objects, AR promises to tackle tasks like mopping, laundry, and kitchen cleanup. This innovation responds to the challenges posed by an aging population and demonstrates the potential for robotic assistance in daily life. Weighing 130 kilograms, AR is a formidable ally in household maintenance, far exceeding the capabilities of a traditional maid. Androids are humanoid robots developed by Osaka University and manufactured by Kokoro Company. Acroid boasts a strikingly human-like appearance. The full-stack droid was initially unveiled at the 2003 International Robot Exhibition in Tokyo, Japan. Since then, multiple iterations of this product have been created, often resembling average young Japanese women. Actroid serves as a tangible realization of the android and gyroid concepts from science fiction, mimicking lifelike functions such as blinking, speaking, and breathing. Notably, the reply models feature interactive capabilities recognizing and processing speech to respond appropriately. Equipped with internal sensors and actuators, Actroid models react with remarkable naturalness, even simulating defensive responses against intrusive actions. Enhanced by artificial intelligence, they can differentiate between gentle touches and more forceful interactions, adapting their reactions accordingly. Actroid's repertoire extends to imitating human behaviors through subtle movements, including shifts in position, head and emotions, and simulated breathing. Moreover, these robots can be taught human-like movements by tracking reflective dots on a person's body, thereby learning and replicating gestures. Featuring realistic silicone skin and powered by external compressed air and hardware, Actroid's mobility is limited typically displayed in seated or supported standing positions. Interaction with humans occurs through speech and nonverbal cues, with microphones recording speech and speech recognition software enabling verbal responses. The first Actroid was revealed at the International Robot Exhibition in November 2003. In January 2004, 
The Actroid Reply Q1 model was developed at Osaka University. In December 2004, the Actroid Reply Q1 was created for Expo 2005. March 2005 saw the display of Actroid export models at the 2005 Expo, with three stationed at Hell Booths and another serving as an MC on stage. Introduced in June 2005, Actroid DER emerged as a rental-only model for dramatic entertainment, replicating human-like expressions with high functionality, prioritizing lifelike presence. It boasts fluid gestures and attention-grabbing effects, Serving as a chairperson or booth assistant, it excels in delivering fluent narrations and captivating audiences. In October 2006, Actroid DER2 units debuted, dubbed the Actroid DER2 Boosting, enhanced appearance and performance, even cuter than its predecessor. This iconic robot surprises with long legs, a radiant smile, and captivating facial expressions. Its polished gestures make it an ideal narrator, doubling as a fashion model. In October 2008 at Actroid DER3 was launched representing the younger sisters of their two leveraging past technology. Their three exhibits enhanced expressive capabilities. Notably, advancements in arm and foot movements enable actions like hand gestures and simulated kicking. While their three doesn't engage in soccer, meticulous attention to invisible mechanisms drives its development. Actroid DER3 possesses creative abilities, showcasing talents in Actroid, Sarah first appeared in November 2009. She looks like a young Japanese woman and can copy human facial expressions and movements very realistically. Japan's Robot Hotel, known locally as the Weird Hotel, stands out for its unique staff composition. Located in Sasebo, the Henna Hotel opened its doors in 2016, offering a futuristic experience with robots handling various tasks throughout the property. From an English-speaking dinosaur welcoming guests at reception to Wally serving as a personal concierge in rooms, automation is the norm here. Every aspect, including check-in, bellhop service, waiter duties, and cloakroom management, is handled seamlessly by machines. Toyota Motor Corporation unveiled a humanoid robot capable of playing the violin alongside a group of musical robots. Standing at 1.52 meters tall and weighing 56 kilograms, this android showcases impressive violin skills, effortlessly performing popular melodies like Pomp and Circumstance by Edward Elgar. Thanks to its 16 joints, the robot's mechanical hands handle the violin with virtuosity. Toyota representatives suggest potential uses in medical institutions and nursing homes for entertainment purposes. The robot's hardware and software underwent three years of development, resulting in high-quality performance. Engineers envision its future roles in elderly care, household chores, childcare, and medical assistance, aiming to enhance its flexibility and dexterity for broader functionality with manual tools. Toyota introduces the Motoman SDA-1, a cooking robot showcasing remarkable culinary skills. With two mechanical arms equipped with seven joints each, despite lacking legs, it adeptly handles tasks like mixing pancake batter and cooking them on a hot plate. It shapes pancakes with a spatula, ensuring a perfect roundness, and flips them on the skillet, frying both sides. The robot then serves the okonomiyaki on a plate, allowing customers to customize sauces and seasonings. During the COVID-19 pandemic, Japan faced a unique situation in its baseball league. To fill the empty stands due to restrictions, SoftBank, a Japanese conglomerate, deployed humanoid robots, called Pepper, dressed in team merchandise. With the season postponed and fans prohibited from attending matches, Pepper Robots occupied seats at SoftBank Hawks home field in Fukuoka's Pepe Dome. Normally accommodating 40,000 spectators, the stadium hosted the game with Pepper Robots instead. Pepper, known for its HD cameras and sensors, can recognize emotions and interact with people, moving on small wheels instead of legs.